Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the kitchen, we're going to be making a, a favourite of mine. It's called Toad in the Hole. Basically, we've got some sausages and we're going to be pouring over some uh, Yorkshire pudding batter mix and we're going to be cooking it in the air fryer. So we'll be using the Ninja uh, Flex Draw today. We're going to be using Zone 1 for the uh, Toad in the Hole and in Zone 2 we're going to have some rosemary chips or as you call them in the US, uh, fries. Um, so stay with me, I'm just gonna uh, have a quick drink and we'll be right at it. Please, please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, it really does make a difference and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you are alerted every time a new video goes up. So we're gonna be using these plant-based sausages again. We used these uh, the other day when we done a sausage tray bake using the mega zone of the air fryer. But today we're gonna be using zone one um, there's four sausages in a pack. These are plant-based sausages. You can use any sausages, meat sausages, up to you, but we're going to be using these today. I also have my batter mix here. I mixed that up earlier. You can use packet instant sort of batter mix, but I've um, made that from scratch. You can get plant-based batter mix as well, so feel free to use whatever you want. It'll all work when we um, cook the toad in the hole. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting the sausages into zone one of the air fryer and getting those browned off before then we add the uh, batter mix to create the toad in the hole. So let's do that now. And here are the uh, Beyond Meat sausages. We're gonna be putting these into zone one and we're gonna be sort of guessing really how many of these I can get in the toad in the hole because this meal is for me and my wife. Um, I'm guessing we can probably get six of these sausages in the um, toad in the hole. There's the first four. And I think we can just about get six in. There we go. The other two my wife might have for lunch in a sandwich or something, but look, there's the six Beyond sausages. Let's get those in the air fryer. We're gonna turn them on. We're gonna to go to zone one, air fry mode and we're going to cook those for maybe about seven minutes. We'll, we'll turn them during the cycle as well so they get browned off um, evenly. But let's hit start and I'll see you in seven minutes. So here we are guys, we're coming up to the uh, end of the cooking cycle, the first cooking cycle. And um, it's on cool down mode at the moment, I'm just going to turn that off. And let's have a look at those sausages. They're sizzling away. They look really good. I'm just going to pour those into this bowl just so that I can go to the next step. So what we're going to be doing today is actually using one of these liners um, to put our toad in the hole mix in. And I'm just going to put that in the air fryer tray in zone one. You can see that. And then what we're gonna do is put these sausages, just get a fork, and we're gonna put these sausages where we sort of want them to be, in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna position them. So I say, we've got six there. And then I'm gonna be pouring the batter mix over the top of them to hopefully create this beautiful toad in the hole, which is a, a real favourite in the UK. Now, the batter mix will rise a bit, so I'm hoping it doesn't rise too much while um, it's cooking, otherwise it'd be quite a messy clean up in the air fryer, but let's see. So the sausages, the sausages are now in there, a bit hard to show you without tipping it up, but they're in there. And now I'm going to pour over this batter mix, which I um, mixed up earlier. And I'll try and show you on the camera what that looks like. There you go, you might be able to see that. They're coated in there. So that's really good. They're gonna go back into the air fryer. And what we're gonna do now is turn on the air fryer. We're gonna go zone one, we're gonna go air fry mode. I'm gonna take the temperature down a bit. I'm gonna probably take it down to 180, and we'll take it to 15 minutes. 
Um, when it gets to about 12 minutes, I'm going to actually put the fries or the chips in the other zone. But for now, we're just going to hit go. Let's see what happens. Time for another drink. Okay, guys, so we've got about 12 minutes left on the timer. I'm now going to take out this drawer and I'm going to add the fries. Looks like the uh, sausages and the batter mix are cooking quite well. We've got these fries here, they're called Ziggy fries, rosemary and sea salt. I'm just going to chuck some of those in the other zone. These are for me and my wife to go with the toad in the hole. Just put those around a bit and we'll get those back in the air fryer. And this time I'm going to stop that there and I'm going to now go to sink. I'm going to put zone one I want on air fry mode for 180 for 12 minutes. And then zone two, I'm going to go air fry at 200 and again for 12 minutes. And because I pushed the sink button, they will finish exactly the same time. So there we go. Both zones cooking away now. I'll see you in 12 minutes. So guys, we are coming up to the end of the cooking cycle. I can't wait to see how this has turned out. We're on the cool down mode. I'm just gonna turn off the air fryer. It's a bit noisy. And let's get this drawer open and see what's inside. Wow, look at that. I don't know whether you can see, but it looks like it's cooked properly. The fries, the chips are all good. Let's give them, yep, they're all crispy. That's really good. I'm hoping that the uh, Yorkshire pudding batter mix is uh, cooked all the way through. I've got some gravy here, over here, made up. I've got some onion chopped up with the my new ninja knives, which I really love. Let's get it plated up and uh, I'll give you my thoughts. So guys, here we are, all plated up. We've got the gravy, we've got our onion, we've got our chips, our fries, and we're gonna give this toad in the hole a taste. Let's see how it goes. Dip it in the gravy. Oh wow. That's amazing. Try a bit of sausage. It's all cooked through. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. Really is tasty. Thank you Shane for suggesting uh, I do this video. I'm going to go and uh, enjoy my dinner. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, leave any comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys, bye for now.